New York Knicks legend Walt Clyde Frazier cements his cool cat status by publishing his own book titled Rock and Steady, A Guide to Basketball and Cool. It's 1974. Walt Clyde Frazier's on top of the basketball world and he comes out with this book. And there were tips in this book how to groom your hair, how to groom your mustache. No wonder this book got republished a few years ago. Anything that Walt Clyde Frazier wants to do, publishing a book about being cool, I need that book. From Southern Illinois University, all of a sudden took New York City by storm. The Jesus of cool. Everywhere he went, he was like pimping. He was bigger than Superfly TNT. He had glide to his stride. There's nothing that you could say about Clyde Frazier that um, hasn't been said before. He makes up words on the spot. He invents words and people just accept it. That's very cool. He was thriving and driving. Winning and spinning. Grooving and cruising. And bumbling and fumbling. Swishing and dishing. Bounding and astounding. Penetrating and devastating. <laughs> we didn't know if that was really a basketball reference or not. All I'm going to say is this. That man is the effing man. I think he stole my language from me. You know, he does his little catchphrases and all that, you know. He was mojoing and goldering. I mean, you know, I can't play basketball anymore, so I might as well do that. I mean, Walt Clyde Frazier, I mean, he's almost as cool as me. I mean, he's up there, but not, not up there with me, okay? Well, he's the only guy that can get away with the various colors that he will wear on the broadcast. No one else can walk around New York City and into his restaurant with the types of outfits that he wears. He's got this fashion sense that, you know, certainly puts all of us sports writers to shame. He's the only guy that can wear purple and brown and yellow. Plaids and stripes and pastels. There it was, the mink coat, right? The Rolls Royce pimping behind the wheel. That man with his fur coats and his hats and his clogs and his big old boots, his heels, whatever you want to call them. Ostrich shoes with a, a gold necktie. Clyde Frazier was pimping before Pimpin was in style. Clyde Frazier was the basketball Joe Namath. They were swag before swag was swag. No one was buying Pumas before Clyde started wearing them. You know what? What is dressing weird? If he enjoyed it, then I enjoyed looking at him. I know he's a great basketball player and people love his commentary, but I kind of think Walt Clyde Frazier peaked and is still stuck in 1974. He's still using this as a guide for life. I mean, I remember specific chapters of how he would teach you how to catch a fly backhanded. All this time during the Karate Kid, we thought Mr. Miyagi was teaching Danielson how to do an ancient Japanese cultural thing. Turns out he was just teaching him to rock steady. Man, this guy had that urge to merge. He would just look at those femme fatales in the A section of Madison Square Garden. And you knew immediately this guy was going to score on the court, in the locker room, and in the boudoir. It's probably been undocumented, but I think he might have beat Wilt's record of 20,000 women. Some people are born with it. Some people, you know, earn it. And I think he, he's done both. He uh, had had a strut when he, uh, when he walked and a uh, bounce when he talked. Walt Clive Frazier is so cool that now, Years and years after he played, he still epitomizes cool. Now we're talking about four decades later, he's the king of rhyme, and he's still the king of style. And that's why he will never be criticized, and will never have to pay for a drink until the day he dies. I need that book, and I can guarantee you, even though it was published in 1974, four decades later, it is applicable. It is 100% current.